Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be taking a look at principle of step up chopper. So let's get started. So this is the circuit diagram of a step up chopper. If you carefully observe this and compare this with a step down chopper that we had seen in the previous video, the inductor position, the diode position and switch position, all of them have been found to be in a different place, isn't it? The inductor previously was in the load side. Now it is coming to the source side. The switch was in the source side, it is going in the middle and the diode which was in the middle is going to the load side. So this particular arrangement is required for us to increase the voltage from a specific value to another value. Say for example, if you want to step up the voltage from 5 volt to 24 volt, you need this particular arrangement of the circuit in order to do that. So with this arrangement, how can we do that? That we will understand by looking at the circuit operation in detail. So let's get started with the circuit operation. So what happens during T on? Let's consider an equivalent circuit diagram. The supply voltage is positive, plus and minus. So the inductor slowly starts charging with a polarity plus and minus, and consequently the current will be flowing only through this path. The reason is because minus is connected to the anode of diode as a result, it is reverse bias and no current flows through this path. So in this case, what do we have? V out is nothing but equal to zero volts during T on, isn't it? Consequently, the inductor current is slowly increasing. The output current is also equal to zero. I out is equal to zero amps. You only have the source current and the current, the source current flowing through the inductor, which is basically the same. Now what happens during turn off? During turn off, what happens is that the energy that was stored in the inductor, it reverses its polarity according to the property of Lenz last. It does not allow sudden change in current. For example, if the current was flowing in this direction through the inductor, it will ensure that the current is still flowing in the same direction that is through this path. So as a result, the current will be flowing from the source through this direction plus is connected to the anode of diode as a result it is forward biased and consequently current starts flowing through the load over here so in this case we have the load voltage v out if you carefully observe v out is nothing but the source voltage plus the energy that is available at the inductor isn't it so consequently we will have the load voltage available at this point so now you might be having a question, how is the voltage increased? How is the step up operation taking place? So if you carefully observe, V out here depends on VL and VS. Say for example, VL has already stored some energy for equal to 10 volt. So consequently, you are still supplying 10 volt. 10 volt plus 10 volt, 20 volt will be appearing at this point. So as a result, V out will be able to step up the voltage because the energy stored in the inductor is also affecting the overall voltage that is available at the load. So by suitably selecting a larger inductor value, more will be the amount of energy that is stored and consequently more will be the effect of the output voltage that is available in the circuit. So that is how step up operation is taking place. Now let's take a look at the waveform. So we will be looking at the source voltage waveform, the source current waveform, output voltage waveform and the output current waveform. We know that the source voltage waveform is a pure DC. What is the source current waveform during turn on and turn off? So this point is what I've called as turn on point and this point from here, this is the turn on point till this point and from here to here, this is called as turn off point. So during turn on at this point, what happens with respect to source current? The source current was slowly starts increasing, isn't it? Basically the inductor was charging so this source current was slowly increasing so you will be getting a waveform like this and during turn off what happens the energy stored in the inductor was being discharged through the resistor r meaning to say you are actually discharging the energy so the current is gradually decreasing as your energy is getting discharged from the inductor the current is gradually decreasing in this particular fashion again the next cycle this repeats so this is t on this is T off and this is the total time period T. Now what happens to the output voltage? During T on we know that the output voltage is zero, isn't it? So the output voltage will remain zero and it only will start at this point. So in that 
case over here v out will be v l plus v s meaning to say it will be a larger magnitude that's the reason i have just increased the magnitude of the output voltage over here if you carefully observe this and if you carefully observe the magnitude of this this is slightly higher compared to that of vs isn't it just to show that step up operation is possible so you'll be getting a waveform like this consequently during the next cycle again during t off you will be getting a waveform like this and during t on the output voltage will be zero as you have seen in the circuit operation now what happens for i out i out we saw again there was no i out during t on meaning to say it was zero so during t off we saw i out was flowing Con consequently the value of i out is nothing but it is a dec decreasing nature isn't it because i out over here if you carefully observe I out over here is nothing but the source current because all of the elements are connected in series and same current will be flowing throughout isn't it so from this point what will happen I out will just follow the source current waveform so it will be decreasing in nature again in the next cycle I T on cycle it is zero again in the next cycle during T off it will again decrease so the current is basically decreasing because the energy stored in the inductor is discharging through the resistor R I hope this point is clear now let's derive the expression for average output voltage. So how do we do that? We have done that in the past. So let's consider the voltage across output. The output voltage, average output voltage is represented as V out. But let us consider the circuit with respect to the switch. So we had the circuit like this, isn't it? So we had an inductor, we had a switch, and we had a source. Isn't it? So let us consider this as A and B. This is switch voltage at this point. We'll consider this as AB and we'll consider this as VL. So in order to find the average output voltage, let us find VAB. VAB is nothing but the same voltage will be appearing across the load because we only have one diode, isn't it? We only have a diode and that is connected to R. So the same voltage will be appearing across the load whenever this is shorted, isn't it? So now VAB is equal to 1 by T 0 to T V out average into DT. That is equal to 1 by T. Here we saw the average output voltage from this point. What is this point? This is nothing but DT and this is nothing but t so how is this dt this we have seen previously for step down chopper operation in case you have not understood this please do go back to that video and try to understand how we consider this as dt so the voltage is available from dt to t so that is nothing but v out average into dt so this is nothing but v out average by t you'll be getting taking t common 1 minus d that is substituting the upper and lower limits t and t will get cancelled out you will be having v out average is equal to into 1 minus d this is vab now we have to have the effect of v out average in terms of vs so how do we do that so let us consider this particular loop let us say this is shorted and the current is flowing through this path so applying kvl you'll be getting vs is equal to vl plus vab isn't it so under steady state condition this term will be zero because inductor for a dc power supply will be acting as a short circuit so vs is equal to zero plus v out average into one minus d isn't it so v out average is nothing but vs by 1 minus t very very important expression so here d varies from 0 to 1 so we have to not set it for 1 because 1 minus 1 will be 0 and it, this term will become equal to infinity so consequently we will be generally varying from 0 to 0.9999 something like that so i hope this video gave you a clear understanding of the 
principle of step up operation in case you have any questions with respect to this video please do feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching stay tuned thank you